Hi, welcome back to my shop. I'm Josh Weston, the Pixelsmith, and today we're going to make a fire striker. We're gonna do one today from the Viking Age, and uh, I'm pretty excited about it. There's a few things we're going to learn today. The first is being able to draw out quickly off the bick and off the edge of the anvil and not just on the flat surface. The second thing is going to be how to use a half-faced hammer blow. The third thing is, well, I don't know if it's so much of a thing, but it's, a, it's an idea to keep in mind. It doesn't have to look pretty until it's done. It's been a little bit chilly lately, so I'm just gonna... We're gonna do a half-faced hammer blow. This is your anvil looking toward you. This is the horn. You're going to put your bar of steel right there. There. I only need about a finger hanging over um, for this. And then you're going to take your hammer, and that's your hammer head. It's an ugly hammer. They make better ones. You're going to hammer right here. Boom, 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 boom. And what that's going to do is going to push that top down. Up with a step in your bar like this, right? And that's gonna provide that ledge. And we're gonna take this little, this little bit of steel, and then we're gonna do step number two with that. Got the ledge formed, and now it's time to go to step number. We're on step two now. Okay, we did this. That was fun, exciting. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to we're gonna hammer on this piece right there. Uh, we're gonna use a rounded side of our hammer. They make these hammers that have rounds, round side on one, flat side on the other. I love those hammers because it's just like having two hammers in one, you know? You just flip it and yeah, it's great. Okay, you get yourself one of those. Um, so you hit right there, boom, and what that'll do is, is that'll, that'll taper things down, right? That's great, that's what we want to do, but we want kind of a long taper. We want to, we want to bring it out to there. And this is a really big chunk of steel, so it's going to take a little bit of work. Now, something that I see people do quite often is they will try to taper on the flat of their anvil. So, that's the anvil, and they'll, they'll put a square rod on a flat anvil, and then they'll hit it with a square hammer. And I'm telling you, if this is what you're doing, you're doing a lot more work. You're swinging a lot more blows that you don't have to do. And, and let's work efficiently here. So what I want you to start doing is, is, is sort of t take this half face blow that we did in step number one, where we put that little ledge in it, and think about doing that the whole way down. Do it there, and then do it there, and then do it there, and then do it there. And you see what that is right there? That's a taper. And then you can you can flip it as you work it and you can do a little bit on each side and it'll actually come out like that. And yes, it may be a little gnarly and jagged like that after a little bit, but that's what a cleanup hammer's for. After you're done, you flip, you know, you flip from your round back to your flat, and then you, you put your piece of steel, you know, you'll have that gnarly, jaggedy 
ends, and then you go over it and you planish it. You know, get it, get it hot, clean it up, clean it up, clean it up, clean it up, and that's when you use the flat one. You don't need to use that flat one until it's time to clean up. Um, work efficiently, work faster, work smarter, not necessarily harder. Don't fatigue yourself. There's, there's just really, there's no point in getting overly tired. There's a lot more hammering to go. cool piece and we're gonna we're gonna curl these ends down curl them down whoop, and whoop. it's easy use a pair of scrolling tongs or tap it over the the edge of your anvil around your horn 
There's a bunch of different ways to do that. You should explore all of them. In fact, here, you can explore two of them. Do one with scrolling tongs and do one with, um, you know, over the edge of the horn of the ear, your anvil. Great, look, problem solved, we learn new stuff. methods to get that up sweep in the middle of our piece.
do is I want to I'm gonna make this feel like it came from the Viking era. So I'm going to take a chisel and I've got a, a modified hot cut that um, was made out of some rebar, I think. Not amazing, but it'll work. Just a little chisel, like that. It's about, you know, that wide. It has a slight curve to it. Um, and I'm just going to, I'm just going to make that line in. And then I'm going to put lines here and here. And then um, make this little hatching. And then for the final touch, I'm going to write in long branch runes. Fire steel. Since that's what we're making today. And that will be our piece. Treated this, I've cleaned it up a little bit, and I, I don't have any flint to strike it, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna see if this file bites, and if, oh yeah, you hear that? That's a clean skate, and that means this is really nice and hard. And I'm not gonna temper this back because I want it to stay hard. I want it to stay brittle for when the flint strikes it, it chips off steel, and that'll give it a spark. Check it out. Look at that, look at that. Look at that, do you see that? You see that? Pretty sweet. I got, I got all the stuff in there. It turned out great, I'm really happy with it. I love it because now it really, it feels, you know, it feels like the time period that I was looking for. You know, it's all very like, I'm Viking. Right? Um, but it's exciting. I love seeing a piece come together. At the end, it looks great. And remember what I said at the beginning. There's gonna be some points of time where it doesn't look awesome. It doesn't matter. It's as long as it looks good at the end, that's what, that's what counts. That's what matters. And check it out. We drew a picture, we made a thing, and had some fun. So, exciting video, fire steel! Go make your own. Post me some pictures, tell me how it goes. If you like the video, subscribe, share it with your friends and family. Thanks again.